Hello, what's going on everyone? It's the Epic Cuber here and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to solve the Rubik's Cube using the Friedrichs method, also known as CFOP. In this video, I'm going to be teaching part number two of this tutorial. In the first one, it was F2L and bottom cross. I strongly recommend that you guys check that out before you watch this video. Link will be on the screen if you're watching on desktop or if you're on a mobile device, it'll be in the description. In today's tutorial, we're going to be learning a thing called two look OLL. And there are two different versions of OLL, one look and two look. The reason why I specified two look is because it is significantly easier than one look OLL. One look OLL is 54 algorithms, I believe, and that is a lot of algorithms to learn. And in this one, we're only going to have to learn 10 total. This is more of the beginner's version of CFOP OLL and a definitely a really good place to start. And for every algorithm in this video, I'm going to leave a link in the description to a website that has them all listed out for you actually on a PDF. So you can go ahead and print that out and carry it around with you or put it on your dresser or your desk or wherever you may be looking. The reason why there are so many more algorithms when you're using one look OLL is because you skip a step that we're going to do in two look OLL. You see, in two look, we make the full upper cross before we apply an algorithm. But in one look OLL, we simply take any case, doesn't matter if it's dot, bar, or little L thing, and we just do a single algorithm to completely solve the top face. And by the way, that's what OLL is trying to accomplish is to completely get the whole top face a uniform color. You don't have to worry about where the corners are and where the edges are. That's something to worry about in the next step, which is PLL. We have to first get the upper cross before we can go ahead and learn those algorithms that we're going to need to completely solve the whole top face. We have three different possible cases. Well, really actually four. And the fourth is just the cross, so we don't need to worry at all about that. We can either have the dot, the bar, or the L shape. With the dot, it's really both of these algorithms put together, and then each one of these will be different. And this is a faster way to get the full upper cross. You may have done this in the beginner's method, and you can go ahead and use that if you want, but I'm going to give you like maybe one or two extra algorithms to use, which will make it just a little bit faster if you choose to learn it that way. The first algorithm they're going to be learning is for the line or the bar case. So we're going to hold it to where it is horizontal to us, and we have two open edges in the front and in the back. And then we're going to perform this algorithm, F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. And that will give us the upper face. One more time, F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. And that will give us the upper cross. The next algorithm that we're going to learn is for the L shape. What we're going to do is we're going to want to hold the L shape in the bottom right corner of the puzzle. And we take the puzzle, we go little f, which means both layers down, r, u, r prime, u prime, little f prime. And that will give us the upper cross. One more time, hold it in the bottom right corner, little f, r, u, r prime, u prime, little f prime. And then we have the upper cross. And lastly, for the single dot, all we have to do is we have to combine the two algorithms. So we go hold it in any orientation because it doesn't matter with this one as long as the dot is on the top layer, of course. We do F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime, little f, R, U, R prime, U prime, little f prime. And that will give us the upper cross. Now that we have the upper cross, we can go ahead and learn the last seven algorithms to complete to look OLL. The first one that we're going to be looking at is called the soon algorithm. And this one can be recognized by a single corner piece being facing up and being the proper color aligned with the upper cross. And then we will have a corner piece with blue facing us. If we're holding with the uh, edge piece that is properly oriented on the left of the puzzle, we'll have one facing us. If we turn it, it'll also be facing us. If we turn it, it'll also be facing us on the right. How we want to hold the puzzle is we want to hold the proper oriented piece on the left bottom side of the puzzle, and then we perform this algorithm. R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. One more time, again, on the bottom left of the puzzle. R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R. 
Now we can go ahead and move on to the next algorithm. And this one is called the anti-soon, and it looks very, very similar to the last algorithm that we learned. This one is actually just the inverse of the soon algorithm, which is the first one that we learned. You can recognize it by it having the one proper oriented corner piece, which matches up with the rest of the color. But then when you hold that in the bottom left, you can see that the other properly oriented piece is not facing us. So if we turn the puzzle, it'll be on the left. And we turn it again, properly, proper color will be on the left, and again on the left. How we want to hold it is we want to put the properly oriented piece up in the top left of the puzzle and have this correct color facing us on the left of the puzzle. Then we perform this algorithm, which is simply the inverse of the first one that we learned. R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime, U2, R. Again, on the top left of the puzzle and the piece facing us, we do R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime, U2, R. This next algorithm they're going to learn is called the car algorithm. And how we recognize it is it has two pairs of things called headlights. And these are two colors that need to be facing the top. So these are two colors that need to be facing up, both facing you. So we can see that we have two pairs of headlights. We have one on the left and one on the right. Both of these properly colors needs to be facing up, but they're facing us instead. And if you turn it to the other side of the puzzle, 180 degrees, you have the same set. It doesn't really matter how you hold this as long as one of the headlights is facing you. What we do is we do the first algorithm, the first first algorithm that we learned, actually the very first one in the video. And all we do is we do that one three times. So we go F, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. And that will solve the OLL face. Go through it one more time. Headlights facing towards you and away from you. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. This next algorithm that we're going to learn is called the blinker. And this one looks pretty similar to the last one that we learned, but it's actually quite a different algorithm. We have a single pair of headlights, and then we have two different corner pieces which are facing away from each other, sort of like the blinkers of a car would be. So imagine that you have the rear headlights here, and you have a blinker here and a blinker here wanting to go either direction, or I should say more of like a warning or a warning signals. How we hold it for this algorithm is we have a pair of headlights facing to the left, and the two blinkers facing away from you and towards you on the right side of the puzzle. Then we simply perform this algorithm. R, U2, R2, U prime, R2, U prime, R2, U2, R. One more time. Again, headlights facing to the left and the blinkers facing towards you and away from you on the right side of the puzzle. R, U2, R2, U prime, R2, U prime, R2, U2, R. This next algorithm that we're going to learn is simply called the headlights. And it's simply called that because we only have a single pair of headlights and the rest of the puzzle is oriented properly. We hold the headlights to where they're facing towards us and perform this algorithm. R2, D, R prime, U2, R, D prime, R prime, U2, R. One more time, headlights facing towards us and the rest of the solved puzzle in the back. R2, D, R prime, U2, R, D prime, R prime, U2, R prime. This next algorithm we're going to learn is called the Chameleon. And this is recognized by a full block being solved and two pairs of blinkers, one facing away from you and one facing towards you. You hold that on the left. If you turn it like this, you can see that there are not, no pairs of headlights and you have a full solved cube. You hold it with the two pairs of blinkers on your left and you do this algorithm. Little r, u, r prime, u prime. Little r, prime, f, r, f prime. One more time through it, again with the blinkers facing you on the left. R, U, R prime, U prime, little r prime, F, R, F prime. And that will give us the full OLL face. We've actually already made it to the last algorithm that we need to learn. And this one is called the bow tie. In this one, you can see that we have the full cross and a single solved piece on the top left and the bottom right, or on the bottom left and the top right. But you can see that we kind of have like this cross pattern with two solved corners away from each other on the opposite side of the cube. Then you can see that we have a single corner piece facing us here, 
And if we turn it like this, the single corner piece facing us here. This is the algorithm we perform. We hold it to where we have the single corner piece that needs to be oriented up facing us on the right of the puzzle. And we perform this, f prime, little r, u, r prime, u prime, little r prime, f, r. One more time, we hold it with the corner piece that needs to be facing up on the right of the puzzle, and we do this algorithm. f prime, little r, u, r prime, u prime, r prime, f, r. And that will solve the full OLL case. Alrighty, everyone, you just finished up OLL, and you are well on your way to learning how to solve the Rubik's Cube using CFOP or Friedrich's method. Be sure to stick around for part three, which will be PLL, where we finally learn how to solve the cube the whole way. Link will be in the description as soon as that video is out. Hope that you guys did enjoy this video. If you did enjoy, be sure to check out the following one to come or maybe some more videos. I'm the Epicuber and you have an epic day. Bye.